Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 6. Sort of? But yeah, it's still Season 6, I guess. So we, of course, only have two episodes left for The Flash at the time that I'm making this video. Uh, the second last episode airs in a couple of days. But if what was going on in the world, you know, wasn't happening, it just did not happen, we would actually have five episodes to go until the end of the season. And along with that, you know, we are missing out on the standard cliffhanger at the end of the season that we'd usually get. You know, some are bigger than others. Sometimes we get like the Flashpoint thing. And then sometimes you get something like last season, which was, I guess, the newspaper changing, which was, I guess, sort of big, but not that big in comparison to other ones. But in the case of the cliffhanger originally planned for this season, we know that it was going to revolve around Reverse Flash, and this was actually revealed by Grant Gustin when talking about the cutting down this season, and then it was further talked about in uh, uh, in other interviews by Eric Wallace, the showrunner for The Flash this season and for next season. Now, I was sort of surprised they actually talked about it, as wouldn't they just be planning to do that next season when they integrate the cut episodes from this season into next season's plot? So aren't they sort of so spoiling a, a surprise? But anyway, they revealed it anyway, so yeah. But then again, if it's reworked, it might not serve as a cliffhanger at the end of an episode next season, but rather just play a role and a storyline in a specific episode or episodes. Uh, but who knows? But in this video, we're going to go over some theories as to what this cliffhanger was and still could be because I think we can all agree that they aren't just going to scrap what they had planned and just that it will be, you know, reshaped into next season's story, whether it's, you know, the first four episodes or the, just the first half of next season. Now, these theories are as per usual from the community and viewers. Um, so, yeah, there's some of you might know these, some of you, some of you won't. So, yeah, they're just out there and we're going to talk about them. But of course, throughout the video, it would be awesome if you could leave all of your various opinions and thoughts on these various theories. There is one main one, which is the title for this video. And then there's some like supplementary ones, which we'll talk about. Um, but yeah, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on all of them. And of course, if you have any other theories I did not talk about, leave them in the comments section down, uh, down below because the more the merrier. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video and you're just excited for what's to come, why not drop a like on it to show support and excitement? So the first one to go over is I'm sure one many have heard online or even just on my channel as I had mentioned it in passing like a few or a couple of weeks ago and then brought it up again in, I think it was either my review, the most recent episode or the trailer breakdown for this week's episode or maybe both. It was in one of them because I remember talking about it. And that is that the cliffhanger that was originally planned for this season was reverse, uh, you know, Flash of Spirit, if you want to call it, taking over Bloodwork or Ramsey Rosso's body without combination becoming the show's version of Red Death from the comics. Now, obviously, Red Death in the DC Metal stories was a combination of Bruce Wayne or Batman and The Flash from elsewhere, uh, with that Batman being a bit more of a ruthless and, well, let's just be honest, murderous version. I know many would be holding out that Bruce Wayne's Batman would appear to become that version of Red Death on the show, but, like, come on, like, Titans and even Gotham couldn't use Batman properly or even Batwoman, and, you know, in regards to Gotham, that was just a show about Batman's origin. They could use Batman in, like, one scene, like, not even one proper scene, like, a quick panning shot and that was it so it would be like it, it'd be a shock it'd be like the biggest shock i think on any show on dc tv if that happened outside of maybe the ezra miller cameo but that's about it now in the most recent episode we of course had ramsey rosso aka bloodwork return uh when the mirror clones if you want to call them of eva or mirror master went to argus in order to get some blood from him which would uh, aid her you know plan in regards to getting out and the deal was that he would be released however he decided to you know, I guess shockingly for most of us, stay behind and stay imprisoned within Argus, saying that he was basically playing the long game, which got people excited as well as just very curious. So it could be seen that Eobard Thorne's spirit, as we're calling it, needs maybe like a fitting host, you know, someone that's deserving of his spirit, someone with enough power, as well as maybe darkness. And let's be honest, at this stage, Ramsey is pretty damn evil. Um, when we were like originally introduced to him, um, that wasn't really the case. Like he was had like his own motives and stuff. He was very selfish, but he wasn't evil. But now he has just completely jumped off the edge. Like he's actually like a proper villain. And when you think about it, Reverse Flash mixed with blood work would be an extremely interesting take on Red Death. And I guess just the look of Red Death in the comics would sort of match that comic combination of characters just the way that red death looks if you can imagine like mixing blood work and then just a speedster in there you pretty much get red death now i think it would be cool to have like a a new looking evil speedster and i think sandhill ramamurthy who plays ramsey would be great as an evil speedster i think he could pull it off and it would be interesting to see how often he isn't wearing the suit or if he is like normal looking most of the time and then suit up as Red Death for less of the time. And it would be pretty crazy if he still has, you know, some of the blood work abilities as well. Like that 
Like, imagine the blood work abilities while also being controlled by Eobard Thorn. That would have to easily make him the most deadly speeds we've had on the show, if not just villain in general, uh, that Barry and Team Flash have come against since the start of the show. It, it'd be pretty damn crazy. Like, just think about it. It'd be pretty damn crazy. But yeah, if that's what they're setting up with that whole, like, long game thing said by Ramsey and just, like, Reverse Flash's spirit being out there, I think that's pretty cool. Because um, I think a lot of people really like blood work and just, I think, just making like an amalgamation of, the, of those two and reworking Red Death to work on the show rather than what was in the comics. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what they do there. But yeah, to follow up that main theory that was going around, you know, the, the blood work reverse flash thing, we also have some supplementary th uh, theories, if you want to call it, as I said before, as to what the cliffhanger with reverse flash would or could have been at the end of this uh, season, you know, the original, the original season six finale. Now, the first one we have is Barry creating this new speed force at the back end of this season. So we have that happening. And by the looks of it, we could have that done by episode 19. I think Eric Wallace has said it's happening at the end of this season uh, by episode 19. I think this week's episode with Godspeed and all of that will solve that or at least set that up for episode 19 to be resolved. But there is maybe a possibility that the creation of the new speed force has some side effects that allow reverse flash to get out of his current state in some way you know how he's just this like red lightning floating around like i think the term that eric wallace has used is that he's like voldemort you know like voldemort's just out there but he didn't have a physical form that's pretty much what reverse flash is at the moment he's speedster voldemort so that's probably like the best oh i shouldn't be saying voldemort speedster he who should not be named or whatever it is from the harry potter things now, I think it'll be interesting if creating the new Speed Force may affect random people in Central City, sort of like the Speed Force storm in the comics at the start of DC Rebirth, and these random people affected become, like, viable targets for Reverse Flash to take over. So maybe, like, Reverse Flash could only take over Nash because he was a Wells and, you know, Eobard had been a Wells before, so that's why Nash could be taken over, but then there's only other viable targets or only certain viable targets that, um... Earbud can take over outside of that and they have to do maybe like speedsters or something like that but i guess it would matter whether the new speed force is done by episode 19 if it is then it might be too long for that cliffhanger to play out you know for that original finale so three episodes later might seem too much but then again maybe the it take a while to develop and the new people that would get it so there's a bit of a question mark on it so who knows Another option involving like reverse flash taking over someone could be connected to Black Hole. Now, Black Hole is an organization that is just up to something fairly big. And if it relates back to the comics, it could or at least should have something to do with the Speed Force. So maybe them messing around with that allows reverse flash some form of an escape route. Whether or not he takes over someone's body or what they are doing actually just allows him to just become a physical being. Is it like again, just as he was? is another question in itself, but Black Hole being involved with the cliffhanger for this season with the reverse flash wouldn't be too much of a surprise. Like if that was what they were pl uh, planning, I wouldn't be too shocked. And the last one is probably the least likely, but it's always something that you have to keep in mind because he's done it before. And that's just reverse flash coming from a different point in time and arriving in Central City. Now, personally, I wouldn't like if they did this because this is what I would want them to do in the final season of The Flash, whenever that might be, because it's not going to be season seven. So, well, it could be, but I don't, th I'm hoping it isn't. So maybe like season eight or nine, that's what would happen re with Reverse Flash. And he'd be the villain for the, the final season, whichever one that might be. And it's like, he comes back and it's the first version of Eobard Thorne as Reverse Flash. So if they did this, him coming, from, him coming back from a different point in time for this one, they'd just be reusing it in like one or two seasons time. So I'd prefer if they didn't do that, you know what I mean? Um, so this is something that I wouldn't want to see. Like, I think the best option for this reverse flash cliffhanger is something just to do with that spirit thing, whether it's him taking over someone like blood work or, you know, just another, another random speedster that might be a, you know, a, I guess collateral damage from the new speed force going off or them starting the new speed force or something connected to black hole. I, even though I think the blood work one sounds the coolest and they even have sort of set it up on the show. For some reason, I'm just drawn to them doing the black hole thing. Not the thing, I, not saying it's the one I want them to do the most, but it's something that I could see them doing um, because they might want to use blood work in another way on the show outside of just making him the Red Death in the show, not making one villain into another villain, keeping them separate and do something else with reverse flash connected to black hole. I could see them doing the black hole one if... They have other plans for, uh, for blood work, obviously. So we'll have to wait and see. I know most people want the, the blood work red death one, but I think the black hole one is still a high chance of happening. But um, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it to talk about in regards to this 
stuff and this theory and everything involved with this video. So if you enjoyed it, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show support. Let me know all of your various opinions in the comment section down below. Which of these theories do you think sounds the best? Which one do, which one do you want to see the most? And if you know the one that you want to see the most isn't maybe the most logical one, let me know which one's the most logical to you. Um, yeah, let me know all your thoughts, opinions, and other theories you have in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.